Hello there, this is Mario Cazares, and today I'm going to be showing you how to split frequencies without changing the tone. So basically transparently splitting the frequencies. And uh, I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. Um, I'll put an annotation to skip to the part where I actually do it if you already know what I'm talking about. But uh, I have this uh, audio track right here. Um, yeah, there you go. And uh, I'm going to duplicate it real quick. And I'm going to put an EQ3 on here. And what's nice about the EQ3 is that it splits up the frequencies, which is something that I want sometimes, like when I'm mastering. So we got lows, you got mids, and you got your highs. The problem is, though, that when this is on, it changes the tone of the sound, which I do not want. So uh, I'll prove that to you by putting a, um, a utility and inverting the phase. So let me throw this on here real quick and let's listen. So as you can hear, the EQ3 is actually changing the tone. And um, so that's why I'm going to be showing you how to do it without changing the tone. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is um, download some plugins, um, Reaper plugins to be specific. So uh, in order to find this, you just go to this website. So uh, just type in Reaper plugins. It should be right here. There you go. You're here. All right. And you're going to want to scroll down just right here where it says download RIA plugins. Um, download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. I think it's based on the DAW. It might be the computer, but um, just try one. If it doesn't work, try the other one. So uh, you're going to want to get those installed and set up, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so once you got your plugin, your Reaper plugins all loaded up and good to go in your DAW, um, what you're going to want to do is I'm going to be using an uh, Ableton audio effect rack right here, but you can literally just do the same thing by uh, duplicating your track four times. It's just easier in Ableton to do it this way. So uh, what I'm going to do is go to audio effect rack right here, drop it on here like that. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my plugins folder and find the RIA plugins. And I'm going to look for RIA X comp. So it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that on the track. Okay. So um, this is going to show up. I'm just going to X this out real fast. And I'm going to click this tab right here to open it up. All right. So here's the chain. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is rename this to um, the high band. Okay. I'm going to duplicate it, name it high mid or upper mid band, upper mids, duplicate it again, name it lower mids, and duplicate it one last time and just call it the low band. Okay, so now we have these four bands and uh, if I play it, it's just duplicating the audio four times so we got to actually set it up. So first I'm going to click on the high band up here and I'm going to open up the VST plugin. Okay, so I'm going to click on this fourth tab over here so that it's going to select this high end, this uh, the highest tab up here. And I'm going to click solo current band. So I click that. And now if we just listen to this, the highs just themselves are soloed right now. So uh, I'm going to do that for each one of these. So let's go through that. Let's go to the upper mids. Let's go to the third band. Solo current band. Okay, go to lower mids. Uh, the second band, solo it. And finally, the low band, we're going to go to, it's already at one. Click solo current band. So now if I play this, um, it'll sound exactly the same. So I'm going to turn it on and off and show you. So as you can hear, it actually does nothing to the sound. But if I solo uh, one of these bands, you'll hear that it actually is soloing. Uh, it's splitting the frequencies. So. There we go. So uh, that is really, really awesome. I was happy to find out that that actually worked because I've been wanting to split frequencies without uh, changing the tone. Like when I'm mastering, I don't want to change the tone of the, the song. So uh, just to prove that it works, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. So they're both exactly the same. And I'm going to invert the phase. Um, 
And if it's completely silent, that means that it's working perfectly. So let's listen to this. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Turn it on. So as you can see or hear, it actually just completely transparent, doesn't change the tone of the, so the song at all, and you get split frequencies. And this way you can compress each individual channel, EQ each individual channel, uh, do whatever you want to these, and um, yeah. So uh, I hope that is really helpful to you because that was helpful to me to learn that. If I didn't explain any parts um, well enough or if you have questions or comments, just go ahead and uh, type them down below. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and bye. I chose a, a Spanish song today because uh, I, I realized like everyone, when they do a tutorial, it's like a dubstep song or EDM song. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to post something that I, I was never going to post anyway. Just a, a funny Spanish song. So this is a Spanish song I, was, I worked on for like five minutes. <laughs> so yeah.